According to the Stanford University School of Medicine, jogging is beneficial to the cardiovascular system, useful for fighting obesity, decreases the effects of aging, and increases the human lifespan. Hell, according to the American Cancer Society, 30 minutes five days a week can even prevent the big C. This, of course, is on average. It doesn't account for accidents, conditions such as heart disease, or cases like our friend Carl here. Carl lives the healthy life, exercises, eats right, and jogs every morning at 7.15 sharp. He believes doing these things will result in a long and full life. I guess that just goes to show you can't put your faith in averages. Take this one. Sure, there's the house in the suburbs, the wife, and the kids. But that's not where the wheels come off. You see, she's the breadwinner and he keeps the house, takes the kids to soccer, volunteers. But I find the outliers the most interesting. For instance, most people simply can't comprehend what it must be like to not have to put on a suit and commute to a job they hate each morning. Hey, don't forget, we've got lunch reservations at one. Okay, I won't. I just gotta send this model over to the render you guys, okay, sweetie? Okay, no rush. I'm gonna go take a bath. Okay. Imagine the kind of freedom people like Duke Douglas and his wife enjoy. Working from home, taking baths in the middle of the day. Truly a charmed wife. And hardly any wonder they forget to lock the doors. It's like any antelope will tell you, though. You get too far from the herd, you risk getting cold. What I do is simply natural selection. Are you done already? As advanced animals, we must face more advanced predators. Lacking those, we must fill the void. More survivable and all. Okay, that one was kind of fun. I'm rather fond of bubbles. Ah, this one again. Special, I'd say, even among the outliers. Giving to local charities. Carting the kids around to their various activities. Donating clothes to the needy. And working the local toy drive. He seems genuinely concerned for his fellow man. I used to think myself a lion, benefiting the herd by removing the weak. Now I know better. While it's true they're naturally inclined toward the outliers, they can't possibly understand the repercussions of their actions. Or their choices of who lives and who dies. Lions don't choose their prey in an intelligent manner. You see, for them it's all about instinct.
I, on the other hand, see the outliers for what they are. The place where all the best evolution happens. I like to think I'm a part of that. It really is that simple. <laughs>